What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Today, we are going to go through the process of creating an online e-commerce store step by step. Setting up an online store gives you the potential to get your products in front of the 2.5 billion people who shop online every day. So an online business can be very lucrative if done correctly. And there are a few e-commerce platforms that can make it easy to get started. Now, after watching this video and you decide to check out Shopify, click on the affiliate link in the description below to get a discount of $1 for the first three months in addition to a free three-day trial. Also in the description, you'll find deals for Squarespace and Wix, which you won't find by going directly to their websites. So let's get into it. The first step is to figure out your niche, your target audience and business model. The best way to do that is to find a gap in the market and then look for products that can help fit that niche. That'll also give you an idea of who you're selling to. Once you have that figured out, it's time to decide on a business model. Are you a retailer, a manufacturer, a complete marketplace, or maybe you're offering a subscription-based service? Whatever you choose to be, the next step is to find your competition. Now, looking at your competition can help you in a bunch of ways, but the most important information that research can give you is about the customer. It's important to focus on what the customer expects to see while also giving you insight on the aesthetic your business should have. All right, so once you've figured out your foundation, it's time for step two, choosing an e-commerce platform. Of course, you may decide to get a web developer and have someone else do it for you, and that's cool. Make sure they're familiar with every e-commerce platform out there and willing to give you access to the site once it's set up. That way you can edit and update the website yourself and you don't need to continually rely on that developer forever. Now, if you decide to be hands on and you don't want to have to rely on a web developer, you can build a website yourself. Either way, you'll need an e-commerce platform for your online store. If you have a retail based business model, you may need a store that showcases products first. So you might be looking for something more functional like Shopify with their 6000 plus app integrations. You have a lot of options to customize how your shop looks and functions through Shopify Store Builder. But let's just say you're selling a lifestyle brand and courses rather than physical products. Then you might have a store page, but the store wouldn't be the main focus of your website. In that case, Squarespace or Wix may be a better option. This is why researching your competition is important. So you get an idea how your online store will look, and it can also give you an idea of how much backup space you'll need from the platform. When it comes to storage, there's a big difference between taking a full supermarket of products online versus only a few hundred products. So whether you go with Shopify, Squarespace, Wix, or some other e-commerce platform, they all should have an easy to use and intuitive drag and drop store and website templates. Some of them like Shopify can automatically optimize these templates for smartphones, meaning you don't even need a separate mobile website. And considering more than 70% of e-commerce traffic comes through mobile devices, it should be a given why having a dynamic store that responds to mobile devices is important for the success of your online business. Thankfully, today's e-commerce platforms offer a pretty great selection of templates to choose from. They even offer templates designed to fit different industries, but if you want a more custom look, you can always customize it more later. Now let's talk about step three, choosing a domain name and logo. Your domain name will later become your custom URL. So if it's a name you may want to change later on down the line, make sure you choose a platform that lets you do that. When it comes to your logo, some platforms like Shopify and Wix offer logo makers so you can design your own and you don't need to be a graphic designer to use it. Just answer a questionnaire about your business and you'll get the logo that best suits your brand identity. But if you're not in love with the results, you can always use a design platform like Canva to create your own logo. Canva is free to use and really great. I use it all the time for thumbnails and other things, but there are some graphics you'll have to pay to use or you can pay monthly and just unlock all the pro features. Now that you have a site and a logo, it's time for step four, create product listings. Whether you have an online store or a website with an integrated store, you'll need to list what you sell. Now, beyond using catchy titles and detailed descriptions, it also means optimized metadata. And if you don't know what that is, let me explain. When a new page appears on the internet, the search engine scans it and marks it, but it's not actually scanning the web page itself. It scans the metadata. You see, Metadata is information that's invisible to the website visitors, but not to the search engine. It looks for keywords that give the search engine an idea of what the web page is about. So when someone searches for those keywords, the search engine will remember your listing and pull it up for the searcher. Now this process depends on search engine optimization or SEO. SEO is the strategy used to make sure your store appears 
in the search engine result pages. It depends on keyword research and just constantly updating your content so you stay on top of recent trends. You can do this pretty easily with an SEO app integration like Yoast SEO, which will let you know how to improve your site to maximize traffic. Yoast remains one of the industry leaders as an SEO plugin, but is only available with Shopify and WordPress right now. However, other platforms also have their own SEO plugins that you can go check out for yourself. Now, once you have a website with products, you're ready for the final step, setting up your payment gateway. Of course, there are many options for this and most e-commerce platforms do it pretty well with whatever one you choose. Some have their own payment options like Shopify or Wix payments. So if you go this route, you usually don't pay any transaction fees, but if you use a third party payment gateway like PayPal, you may need to pay a certain percentage of your earnings as transaction fees. So it's important to double check their rate since it can change across the different platforms and plans. Now, when it comes to the checkout process, there are some questions you need to ask yourself, like does your checkout page match the rest of your website? Does my site cater to international shoppers? Will shoppers be sent reminders if they get to checkout, but don't complete the process? Is the entire process a smooth experience? While these are all important questions to be considering, Another thing to consider is if you can offer a physical point of sale or POS. While an online store means a digital POS is possible, you may also want to have a physical point of sale so your customers can pick up their purchases in person. Now, look, I get it. This may work for some businesses, but only some. Still, if it will work for your business, this will help more customers make it to checkout by offering them more ways to get your products. Once you're done with this, your online store is officially ready to go live. Now let's talk about customer support. The best thing you can do is get an AI chatbot that can reply instantly, whether it's midnight or noon. This will help free up more of your time, letting you focus on growing your business. One such chatbot is Myva AI. Now, beyond responding to customers, this service can help you get insights from the interactions with your customers, which gives you the ability to understand their shopping behavior, observe new trends, and make more informed decisions about your products and how you market them or just about your website. Another thing is that Myva doesn't just analyze questions, it crafts responses with up to 92% accuracy based on your brand and personality. And as your business grows, it will grow with you. And now I've actually tested Myva out for myself to see how well it performed compared to a human and the results were pretty amazing. Now, just so you know, I am not sponsored by any e-commerce platform, but I will say that Shopify in particular offers all the features we've covered today. Plus, you get fraud analysis and automatic tax calculation with every plan. And if you choose Shopify's advanced plan at $2.99 a month with annual payment, you also get advanced sales reports, up to 15 staff accounts, and carrier calculated shipping. This means you can give your customers real-time delivery updates. Now, if you're a smaller business, you may not need all the bells and whistles. Instead, you can get all the base features for $29 a month for the basic plan, or the grow plan for $79 a month gives you a greater discount on shipping and transaction fees than the basic plan gives you. Now, if your business has outgrown all of these options, you can go for the plus plan for $2,300 a month. Side note, I want to mention the Plus Plan is not eligible for the free trial period or the discounted first month. Well, that's it for today. I hope you found this video and info helpful. And if you did, hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos just like this. If you would like to try Shopify out for your e-commerce site, you can always use the affiliate link in the description below to try out most of Shopify's plans for only $1 for the first three months and a three-day free trial. And again, Make sure to check out our exclusive deals for Squarespace and Wix, which you won't find by going directly to the website. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.